Hello, I'm Jim Fossett. Let's take a look at two of the biggest servers in tennis today, Milos Raonic and John Isner. Analyst Brad Gilbert believes Ronich has the best serve in tennis today. Isner and Ronich top 2012 in aces in games one, but their serving techniques and tactics are quite different. We use a couple of types of slow motion, stop action, and photos to compare them. John Isner uses a deep knee bend to leap well into the court, plus tremendous shoulder rotation to hit a heavy serve that often leaps over players' heads. The only way an amateur like me can understand what it's like to hit serve where Isner does, up here at 11 feet, is to get up on a step ladder. Up here, I can literally look down into the service box. You and I are taught not to hit down on the serve and to hit it as deep as possible. Those rules don't apply to Isner. For Isner, hitting a serve is more like hitting a smash out of bounds. He can hit the serve down and have it bounce high. That's one reason Isner is said to have the best second serve in tennis. At Indian Wells, I saw Isner get a second serve ace against Djokovic by landing a ball and in the middle of the service box and having it bounce literally out of reach over Djokovic's backfield. Isner also uses his height to hit angles so that you have to reach literally a span of 20 feet to get the ball on his serve. So if you try to move backwards, you end up hitting across a wider range of, of uh, distance, plus the ball will bounce higher. Let's take a look at what this means in terms of some numbers.
In this clip, let's take a look at Isner's second serve, said to be the best in tennis. Watch here how Isner rotates his shoulder sooner on his second serve, but doesn't extend quite as far into the court as he does on his first serve. Milos Raonic uses a classic platform stance to create sheer speed but with great variety, from wicked twist to wide slice. Raonic uses the platform stance of his idol Pete Sampras and Roger Federer. Raonic hits the ball at about the same height as Isner, but not nearly as far into the court, getting his body more under the ball. One key is Raonic's flexible shoulder. The TV announcer repeatedly said that Raonic, like all great servers, has an identical toss on every serve. That's clearly not true for Federer, Courier, Agassi, and it's not true for Raonic. Here I caught the ball at impact on two consecutive aces from the deuce court. You see that on the second one, to the right, the ball is tossed significantly closer to the baseline. Here, I used a slow shutter's blur to show how the path followed by Ronish's racket is dramatically different on his twist serve on the right, where the tip actually ends up behind his face. Next, let's use a variety of slow motion techniques to look more closely at Miles' serve. Now serves at 120 and 240 frames per second. 